Bro, I'm just gonna do it right here and show you guys this big old box. Guess what we're doing? We're going single exit, baby. Yeah, that's what's up. Right here. Right there. You guys can see that's the resonator. I think that's a resonator, right? Mid pipe resonator. I don't know. Resonator and a big old single exit. It's here. It is a three inch. The car, I think, has like two and a half inch from factory. It's just a muffler elite. So what I got, I'll show you guys in a little bit. I'll show you guys. But this is a three inch with a big old muffler and the resonator. And I lost the bolt. But yeah, we got ourselves ISR single exit. We're going to go single exit, shoot big flames. We're going to try it out. We have dual exit. Why not? And it comes with one, two, three, four bolts with this and gaskets. Three inch. You know what? This is not just an unboxing. We're going to put it on the car. So let's get to do that right now. All right. What's happening, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today is the day. Today is the day that we change the transmission back to CVT. Nah, just kidding. Now, today's the day we're actually gonna be putting on our exhaust. It's been long overdue, but last video, you guys saw the that hole that's in my exhaust because of the flames, the pops and everything. It's just the, you know, this guy, look at this crazy guy, man. I guess the stock pipes, you know, couldn't, uh, couldn't take all the flames and stuff. So now we're gonna be upgrading. You guys already saw that we are going single exit we're gonna be putting on the isr exhaust but we gotta modify it you know i wish i had a dual exhaust right because i like it like the motor dine but it is way too expensive it's like almost two thousand dollars for that and i don't have two thousand dollars for an exhaust right now enjoy this exhaust note because it's gonna be way different after that but that's where we're heading guys and you know we're just enjoying ourselves with the, the little six speed action you know if you didn't know well now you know the car is six speed I know a lot of you guys ask me, like, what's a check engine light? That's not a check engine light. I don't have check engine light. That's my key light, which you get after the swap. Uh, they're trying to coat it out, or you can just pull the, the little bulb in there. That's the other one, the VDC. That's my traction control. So I always keep it off in case someone try to run me. And, you know, it's not unexpected. I just go without the car cutting power. And the other one under that where the needle is, that is my tire pressure thingy majigger to tell me when I have a flat. I don't have a flat, here's my sensor right now. Downshifting in those rev matches, gold.
not gonna bore you guys too much. Uh, I'm gonna let you know when we get there, so you guys can see the exhaust and just hear it, because that's what you came for, right? Not just me driving. But give me a little bit, and I'll catch you guys later. All right, guys, we made it. You guys already know where we're at. We've been here before. You guys know. Low life projects. We've already been here. We already did like what our suspension. We did a couple things to the car, and now we're going to do in the exhaust. But there's something I gotta explain to you guys first before you go and buy an ISR exhaust. Don't mind the mess. I got my gym shoes, my my safety vest for what night if something happens. But okay, so there's the ISR exhaust. Uh, what we gotta do is we're gonna have to cut like pretty much like somewhere around here, you know, and extend the pipe. All right. So this is the first time I'm gonna see this thing. And look at this cannon. Like, look, guys, I can fit. I can fish this thing. That's crazy. That is insane. I'm not gonna lie, they'll be doing some wild things here though. For example, what the heck is that? I think this thing's gonna have mad power. It's like a Hemi or something like that. That's pretty sick. They'll be doing some wild things here. So they'll be giving like cars mad camber, like super slam where the frame touches the floor. Just things like that. Uh, we got so much to do to this interior. We're just gonna kill time until they can bring it in. All right, it's our turn. So about that time. No more muffler leak. Finally, a nice exhaust. Finally done. Damn, this is mad exciting though. Let's see if we can get that first start over sign.
with the old and with the new and let's see how it sounds bye bye yo all right all right we're on just listen to this crazy huh crazy how deep this thing is it is so deep it sounds so aggressive all right i think we can go after this one It's so quiet, I can't. I don't know if I'll get used to this. I need a little, I'm, I think I might need a little louder. It doesn't sound, it doesn't sound bad actually. It doesn't sound bad. MR2, want some? All right, all right. There's too much traffic. I'm gonna catch you guys in a little bit. All right, there's my windows up. They're all up, right? Check it out. You can barely, <laughs> you can hear it just enough. I'm super excited because the other one was so loud, man. Honestly, it's so loud. Little bull.